Hi, I'm Mike Scrampstead of cdocs.com and welcome to the tip of the day. In the next few tips that I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of go start to finish through an anterior design, just two central incisors. Now this particular case, we did not have clinical time to do a diagnostic wax up, so we're just gonna do it in biogeneric. However, when you do central incisors in biogeneric, you still need a reference point, and hopefully this tip will show you why. Now, if I look at tooth number eight and nine, and I put up my biocopy, which in this case is the pre-op, meaning I scan the pre-op or old restorations before I prep them. Now, it doesn't have the right symmetry, it doesn't have the right midline, but it still gives us quite a bit of reference on incisal edge, facial lingual position, and things like that. So this is super important because if I go ahead and I get my biogeneric proposal, as you're going to see, if you didn't have that information, you might be fooled into thinking that your proposal is better than it is. So if you look at this proposal, everything is lined up pretty well. It doesn't look that bad. Yes, we need to lengthen it a bit, but if you turn on your biocopy and then make it just slightly transparent, you're gonna see the fundamental issue on not having guidance, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn on our biocopy scan and we're gonna make it just a little bit transparent. And you're gonna see not only are we tremendously short here, but also facial lingually, we don't have anywhere near the amount of a bulk. Okay, so we have some problems with thickness. For more tips like these, please visit us at cdocs.com. Thank you.